Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am doing a product review on the Yak Attack Black Pack. For the past year, I have been using a Hobie H Crate, which is similar in size. Hobie H Crate, this is the big version. And I've had nothing but headaches with it. There's not enough storage inside. I can't fit what I need to fit in there without you know it going right up to the top of it. And then at the end of the day, I gotta secure it down with these, these straps. Strap has broken on me. If you don't wanna use the straps, you need to purchase all Hobie's accessories. Um, the soft zipper top that goes on this. And then to get the rod storage, cause this H crate only has four rod holders. I believe it's 25 bucks for a Hobie rod holder accessory. So, I mean, if you wanted to get eight rod, you know, eight on here you're talking you're gonna have to spend another another hundred dollars plus the soft top and i just said screw it i'm out i've been a loyalist to hobie for a long time many years but i'm done so <clears throat> i ordered the black pack on amazon and i'm in love i've had it out a few times i could fit so much stuff in here it's 16 inches by 16 inches it's very durable super hard plastic and it's very easy to put together a six-year-old could put this thing together i did it in 10 15 minutes um, i'd recommend hand screwing everything don't use a power drill you might strip the threads because the plastic um, price on this guy i found this on amazon for 170. the problem i had was when it got delivered from amazon amazon wasn't too gentle with it and my top had a huge crack in the corner and there's a piece missing. And I was pretty bummed out, but I was like, shit, am I gonna do the back and forth with the, with the Amazon seller? I said no. So I just emailed up um, Yak Attack directly. Their customer service acknowledged it. They asked the size. And you know, at the bottom of my email, I just put my address and phone number. They never got back to me. You know, they, they, they wrote me back and they said, oh, uh, okay. They said, basically said, okay. And, I, and they just left me hanging. And then three days later, I got a top in the mail, a replacement top. So customer service A plus. The communication not an A plus, but customer service. That's freaking awesome. Um, either way, I would have kept this because I love it. Inside this, I can fit five 3,700 boxes in here. I can fit one Cal Coast battle box, which that's pretty much two 3,700 size, you know, Plano boxes in one. And then I could fit two smaller um, boxes, which, you know, you can use them for your finesse. I, I use one for my finesse, my drop shots, my neds. And then I use one for just miscellaneous baits I'm gonna use throughout the day. Or if I need like a junk, a junk box, just a cut things off and tie it in there, or uh, toss it in there rather. Um, and then I could fit a big bait bag, I could fit my gloves, I could fit endless amounts of stuff in here. And as long as your rod holders in the back are recessed a little bit and they're not sticking up um, as far, you can actually open the box 90 degrees plus. So that's, that's great. And it has this top with the nice hinges and the latch on it. So I don't have to strap anything anymore like I did with the H crate. And that was just the biggest pain in the butt. Rod holders, super sturdy. They screw in at four different points. These things aren't going anywhere. And they come with the straps, the retractable straps so you can attach your rods. Um, you, could do, you could do four side on this. I didn't. I have extra rod holders in the garage, but I didn't choose to go that route because I felt if you have four on there, your reels are gonna bump when you take a rod out. And I just, I just saw issues with that long-term. So I didn't go that route. Um, I could have done the same thing. I could have put three in the back, but one of my rods might've hit one of these hinges back here. And I didn't wanna do that. So for, just being comfortable, I feel that eight is the perfect amount for me, um, but you could do 10. Easily you could do 10. 
and they have a bunch of different accessories you can do. You know, you could put tracks on top now, where you can put, you know, um, mounts of sorts, uh, camera mounts, things like that. I don't need that though. But um, for the money, all in on this box, it's $200. So I bought a two pack of rod holders and that's it in the box, which was 170, 175. So call it 200 bucks. I'm a happy camper. I think this is fantastic. Um, it's manufactured great. It's made in the US. Everything is very good quality. I couldn't be happier about this. It is not waterproof. There's you know holes all over it, but it's it's gonna keep water out pretty well, unless you're in downpours. But I can transport this fine. I don't have to worry about things bouncing out because I trailer my kayak. So with my H crate, I've had boxes fly out on the road before. If I hit a bump in the road or something, just bye-bye crankbait box. Not anymore, I got the lid. And I got the replacement lid to go with it. Um, so I, in my opinion, this is the best crate on the market for 2022 going into 2023 hands down for the money this is where it's at and they offer it in three sizes i got the 16 by 16. so if you guys like these product reviews and you want to see more of them consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel thanks guys until next time